You could call her the thoroughly modern millennial. A young, highly successful Ford engineer is changing the auto industry from the passenger seat because she doesn't drive. In fact, here she is walking to work. That's amazing. Local Ford business editor Rod Maloney brings us her success story. Get ready to meet an automotive rock star. She's a Ford research engineer with just two years on the job and has accomplished more than most lifers have. But it's the one skill set that she lacks that is making a huge difference. She doesn't have a driver's license and no, she does not own a car. A two room Dearborn flat comes alive early with vinyl on a turntable. I love the feel. It's just so pure and raw. 23 year old California born Tori Shine prefers peanut butter powder on bread for lunch. Her immaculately kept efficiency reflects her passions, cars, her automotive artwork and a bicycle. But usually she walks at least a mile to the Ford employee shuttle stop. I usually track my steps in my phone. Her sunrise silhouette this unseasonably warm February morning is not a necessity. It's a choice, and her shuttle ride, a carryover from college mass transit. I've always loved cars, and the idea of driving is fascinating. But I found that my way of getting around was pretty convenient for me. To her, cars aren't transportation as much as works of art. When I was little, I saw one and screamed out the car and scared my mom half to death. But. I just was pointing at this, these, this car and saying how, how wonderful it was and I wanted it. Her mother bought art books teaching how to draw cars and trucks and she learned obviously very well. After a Smith College bachelor's in engineering, she brought her talents to Ford as an intern where she established early on good automotive research engineers needn't have sweated a driver's test. Yet she did sweat a frightening attempted U-turn in her brother's car years earlier that gave her an idea. He wasn't able to make it and we got stuck and there was oncoming traffic and we almost got in an accident and it was really scary for me and I wanted a way to to know before a turn was going to happen whether or not it was a feasible turn. So early on she submitted a 15 page invention disclosure to Ford lawyers. It actually turned into five different ideas. They separated it because there were five different novel aspects of it. She filed more and more inventions and is now looking at the possibility of claiming 15 patents before age 25. Her first uses this little button mock-up, which connects to a phone app to predict U-turn success. I look at a lot of different things from a different perspective, and I think it adds a lot of uniqueness to some of the solutions that I come up with. Here is an attachment for it. That Ford wasn't letting her get away. Cynthia Flanagan, her boss, says as it looks to morph from car maker to transportation company, Tori's lack of license simply works at Ford. Everybody loves to, to work with her. She's um, engaging, creative, um, you know, open-minded, and you know, we're really you know, excited by you know, what she's doing. Now, Tori isn't even certain yet what she wants to actually do in the automotive industry, but she set some goals, nothing lofty, a master's and a PhD, and to make good on those two things that she lacks, her driver's license and that new Ford car. In Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4. <laughs> Talk about a rock star. The perspective, we just can't get into her mind anyway because we know how to drive and we've been driving so you can't erase those memories. You're right, there's so much I like about that story too. And, and her mother for seeing that passion early yeah. on and feeding her, you know, showing her books and things. That's a great story. Yeah, I love that. She, all those patents too. She's, she is a rock star.